Today we're going to be talking about automatic regression. Let's get started. Okay, everybody, pause this video and take a second to write this question down. First things first, I'm going to create a table and type in the data. The fastest way to do an automatic regression is to click on this symbol in the top left. I like to change the regression to purple. I'm going to do that. Hold down left click on the color and change it to purple. And um, we'll notice that this R squared is wrong. Uh, it's, it should be 1. Remember, this isn't a statistics problem. The SAT is giving us an algebra problem that should work out perfectly. But So you want it to be 1. But even if it, it, even if it is 1, that doesn't mean it's right. So here I picked a cubic. Um, but really, this question was asking us about a quadratic. So let's click on quadratic regression. And how about we click on this little magnifying glass to zoom fit our data. And we can see these three data points. The function goes perfectly through it, so we did a good job. Now, uh, I can click on this little thing here, export snapshot. I notice that A is 2, B is negative 3, and C is 1. And the question wants me to find 2A minus 3B. And the answer for this one is 13. You should note that there's another way to extrapolate the equation from this first line. We're going to go over that when we do the second example. For now, just hold that thought. Okay, guys, so there are nine total automatic regression presets. The four that I just put on the bottom are straight up just not tested on the SAT. So really just don't worry about those. You never want to pick those. Uh, next, there are five that you might want to be concerned about. And I thought I should go over them because Desmos doesn't really, a good job doesn't really do a good job presenting this information to you. So, um, I don't know, you'll probably never need to regress a cubic or a quartic. I would just be really familiar with what these top three do. So, linear does slope intercept form of a line, y equals mx plus b. Quadratic does standard form of a quadratic, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And exponential does y equals a times b to the x. Especially if you regress lines or quadratics a lot on the test, this could save you a lot of time in a pinch. However, you're still going to want to know how to regress manually. And that's because there are many types of equations that come up on the test where regression is useful. I just put a couple examples on here, but really the College Board could give you almost any equation. And you really want to be able to know how to regress any equation you could think of. Really common one is vertex form of a quadratic. If you go to do the um, uh, quadratic regression, it's just going to do standard form as we just talked about. So I would still review that previous video that I made um, that goes over how to do the typing by hand, just in case you need it. I think knowing both ways is, is really helpful. Okay, everybody, take a second to pause this video and write this question down. Okay, everyone, so remember what I said about how hmm, there might be an issue with how we were um, ex extrapolating the equation before. So let me show you what I mean. So let's click on the automatic regression and let's do exponential regression. And if I export the equation and I'm gonna zoom in on the data, that's actually not that great. So why don't I just go back to home and then like zoom on it manually using my mouse. That looks a lot nicer. Okay, so now I'm gonna change this to f of x. And the question wants us to find f of four. And it won't let me get a fraction. And that's because um, the answer to this question is a fraction. And you'll see they didn't give us the exact repeating decimals. They just used approximations. So that's going to cause a problem. So let me show you what I think you should really do. So what I suggest you do is you click on these three dots right next to the drop down menu. And then click export as custom regression. And then I don't really care about this green line here. I can hide that if I want. And I would just retype it in using the letters. So in this case, f of x equals a times b to the x. And this will use the exact values for a and b. So watch when I type in f of 4, I get the exact answer, which is 50 sevenths. So just be careful. I would just take that five more seconds longer to type it in if you expect there's going to be any um, decimals or um, messy fractions. So here's a quick recap of what we learned. Can this save you time sometimes? Yeah. 
Should you still learn how to type regressions manually? Yeah. You should learn what linear, quadratic, and exponential presets do. And you can use the feature export as custom regression for more precise answers. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. If you need tutoring, my website will be linked at the bottom of the description. And uh, like and subscribe uh, if you think I can win this game of Pong. <laughs> Peace.